Welcome to this video. Today we are testing Windows Defender, which is the free antivirus that is built into Windows 10. And I've got some malware samples, 20 in total. And we're just going to test to see how well Windows Defender does as far as protecting us against these samples. Please note and be aware that both Windows 10 and Windows Defender are up to date as of right now. And to give a brief overview of the procedure, what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to re-enable and turn Windows Defender back on, and then I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it detects anything on its own, after which I will run a full system scan, and then if there's anything left over, we will then scan the samples folder directly, and last, if there's any sam samples left after that, I will try to execute them and see if Windows Defender can stop them. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and turn Windows Defender back on. And so this will take just a moment. Okay, it looks like we have Windows Defender up and running. Everything should be back on. And we've got that green check mark. So it looks like it is up and running. So I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it detects anything on its own. And then after which we will proceed to the scan. All right, so far nothing has happened. And so I'm just going to see if opening up the samples folder prompts anything. Still nothing. So... Let's minimize that. Now, again, just to confirm, uh, again, we'll just double check to make sure everything's up to date. And we can see we are up to date. So we're going to run a scan and we're going to do a full system scan. And then we'll be back with the results. All right, now that the scan has completed, we can see that we've gotten multiple positive detections, all classified as severe. And so, it looks like they're set to remove by default, which is good. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on Start Actions. And it looks like it has completed removing nine threats total. And so let's take a look at our samples folder. And it looks like it removed more than nine samples because we're down to seven, which is good. Now we're going to scan the folder directly and see what happens. And after scanning the folder directly, it found zero threats. So what we're going to do, we're going to minimize Windows Defender and we're going to actually try to execute some of these uh, pieces of malware. Now one thing you'll notice when we try to execute these, I think several of these are going to get blocked initially because of Windows Smart Screen, which is a built-in feature into Windows Security. And so I'm going to try to run all seven of these first with Smart Screen turned on. And then after which, I'll turn smart screen off and we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like 
two more were detected and removed because we're down to five but you also notice there's some new programs here so it looks like some of them did get through uh, Windows Smart Screen as well as Windows Defender itself uh, but it looks like it blocked most of them which is good and so I'm going to go ahead and close this for a moment and we're going to run some additional scans here just to see if they pick up these last samples and then we'll go from there. I did run malware bytes and it came back with zero threats detected but I should also note that before I ran malware bytes I did restart the computer and the reason for that is because I wanted to make sure that all of the results that were detected by Windows Defender were fully removed because some traces of malware are not fully removed until after a computer restart and you'll notice that the samples folder is currently at four items three of which have been installed on the computer. Now Windows Defend, or excuse me, Malware Bytes again came back with zero results found. Also, I scanned the samples folder directly with Malware Bytes and it still came back with zero threats detected. I also ran a scan with MZSoft and it also came back clean. It detected no additional results. Also ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it also came back clean with zero results detected. And last, I ran a scan with Zamana, and it also came back clean with zero results detected. Now, I do want to give some final thoughts and a conclusion to this test, uh, but before I do that, I do want to point out that I did fail to notice that one of these samples is a bad sample, and I did not notice until later, so I do apologize about that. This top one, the BILD.exe, you'll notice under size it says zero. So this test will actually be out of 19, not out of 20, so please keep that in mind. And out of those 20, it successfully stopped all but three. And these three specifically, let me be very clear, the three that got through are not viruses, they are not Trojans, they're not, they are not worms or backdoors, they are not serious pieces of malware, but they are considered malware because they are bad programs. They are what we classify as PUPs, potentially unwanted programs, that users often unintentionally install on their computer. PUPs are some of the most common types of malware and users often confuse them with viruses or more serious threats. So it is important to know and understand that distinction and why they so often get through security programs because they are programs that users install on their computers. They are not viruses and that is very, very important to understand. When it comes to the more serious threats, such as the Trojans, at least in this specific test, Windows Defender successfully detected all of those serious pieces of malware. They were all either detected on the first scan or later removed during an attempt to execute them. I think this is very, very important to understand because Windows Defender often gets a very bad rap as being a bad antivirus. It's true that in the past, it was a bad antivirus. It was very bad. But Microsoft, over the years, has made significant improvement to this program, and so I don't think it's fair or correct to classify it as a bad antivirus at this point. Now, I'm not saying it's the best. Let me be very clear. I'm not saying it's the best antivirus, but it is better than a lot of people give it credit for. Again, it successfully detected or blocked all of the severe samples in this specific test. As far as these three PUPs, like I've already mentioned, PUPs are very difficult to stop because there's no software program on the planet that can 100% babysit what a user is installing on their computer. Keep in mind that even Malwarebytes did not detect these three installers. Now it is interesting, a good question to ask is if Malwarebytes real-time protection had been turned on, would it have prevented these three from being installed? And I will do future tests with Malwarebytes to hopefully answer that question. But keep in mind, the best antivirus program on the planet is you the user, and you the user will do a much better job of preventing PUPs or any type of malware from getting on the computer if you educate yourself on the do's and don'ts of the internet and what to install and what not to install and just proper security procedures. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.